It's a good day to have a great day. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gaines, and we're in the heat of it, baby, ready to celebrate the state basketball playoffs. Let's start with a legend, Highlands Ranch, and their head coach, Karen Jiraki, looking for another trip to the grade eight. Here's Isabella Schumper from the corner. You got it. Eagle Crest, though, playing hard. Angeline Romero, the nice dish to Nia McKenzie. What an awesome high school career she's had. Drains it from way out there. Highlands Ranch, too much in this one. Schumper, the swing pass over to Tori Baker Ranch. They win by 20 points. They're on a 14 game winning streak and headed to the Coliseum. Hey, Falcons, you're moving on. I love today. Number one, Mountain Vista and Ralston Valley. Check out Ralston's Jason Tommy. Shake him, Jason. Do it to him, Jason. Three ball, but Vista, they rolled. Here we go. Radic Homer to the six foot nine. Caden Stevens, throw it down. Vista, they win it 69 to 35. Hey, Golden Eagles, you're moving on. I just appreciate First keep playing. Um, I didn't want to go home today, so no, we didn't. So I'm glad we didn't go home, and uh, we're gonna keep going. So. Dakota Ridge Eagles and the TJ Spartans. Here's TJ's Armin Baker, a three ball. Okay, I see you, Armin, but this one was all about Dakota and Alex Rodriguez. What a season he's having. End of the quarter. Just throw it up, Alex. <laughs> Long ball for A-Rod, how about that? Eagles, they win at 71-45. Here's Logan Culp to Gabriel DeWicki. I love dunks. Hey, Dakota, you're moving on. Oh, I definitely felt like it was my day after hitting that. I mean, there was everything was going our way. The team was playing great. We're knocking down our shots. Pretty much, we're executing everything that we did. And it was just a great all-round game from all of us. This was sent in to us, Colorado Academy and Severance, and that is Andrew Kokalanis, the game-winning free throw for the Mustangs as they win it 62 to 61. Hey, CA. You're moving on! And this one was also shared with us. Sports at 9news.com is our email. Carson Jassa, the angry dunk for the Faith Christian kid. You love to see it. Denver East and Eagle Crest, and we've got some stars on the court, like Ladavian King of EHS from way out there. King me, Ladavian hits. East, they've got an absolute dude too. DeAndre Samuels, he can pass. Nice dish to Gil Gonzalez with the flush. A nice touchdown toss to Jack Greenwood, who finishes. Uh, the kid can play defense too. Chase down block, get out of here. And he can score it also. 33 points on the day. Eagle Crest, they played extremely tough, but the Angels show their strength. They win 80 to 65. Hey, Denver East. You're moving on! How much fun did you have today? A lot. So much. Especially I'm a senior. Oh yeah. Last home game too. Oh yeah. We're going to bring it home. There were a lot of awesome champions at the state wrestling finals, but the greatest winner of all was Meade's Trey Tatum. At the state wrestling tournament, time can stand still kind of like a different kind of nerves because it's like you're kind of shocked, nervous, you know, you want to wrestle good. And after many years of waiting and working, Mead freshman Trey Tatum competed on the biggest stage for the very first time. You know, as a kid, you go there and you like see all the good guys wrestling. You're like, oh my gosh. And then you finally get there and you're like, oh, I finally made it here. Ty, Trey's father, is the Mavericks head coach. And time and again, he's seen how very special it is to make state. And especially when it's his youngest son, knowing the long and difficult path it took for him to get there. 10 years later, I still get emotional talking about it. Uh, it's been a journey. As a kid, Trey had a love for sports and was a ferocious competitor. I can go fast as a cheetah. I can go that fast. You're not as fast as a cheetah anymore, I'll tell you that. But, but as a five-year-old in 2013, he was diagnosed with cancer in the form of rhabdomyosarcoma, a tumor in his left ear. Mm, scared. Trey would undergo 43 grueling rounds of chemotherapy but still found a way to play. That was the day you had the triple nasty and you said, there's no way I'm missing the game. I wanted to bat, I wanted to run the bases. When dad Ty carried a backpack filled with chemo drugs connected to his son so that he could have fun. 
You want to talk about community support. That was incredible. Trey's been cancer free for a decade now, but still has some minor complications. The tumor left behind. Oh uh, yeah, I do have a little bit of a hearing issue, but we tried hearing aids and I didn't really like it because I get headaches. And 10 years in the making, that young kid finally got to step up onto the mat at Colorado's greatest stage. Let's go, Trey! Sometimes there are times when I'm sitting there as a coach and all of a sudden I check out as coach and check in as dad and it's like, wow, this is incredible. This is just, I can't believe uh, that I'm sitting here. It's like a dream come true, honestly. Um, because when it all happened, you're like, okay, you know, what's going to happen? How is his life going to move forward? And then you're sitting there 10 years later and you're like, this is what I dreamed of. More fakes! You're shooting! Gotta get an angle! Don't dive in! It's definitely crazy to see me that little and where I am now. And just kind of quick reflection on how, like, how fast life's gone, I guess, really. Trey, stop trying to do the duck! Over the last 10 years, Trey's grown into a strong young man, something Ty wondered about a decade ago. How is this going to carry him for the rest of his life? And what um, will he become because of it? Try and remind him of that stuff that he's, he's built to do hard things. I can help people go through what I went through and like them not having to worry about what's gonna happen. Hey, it's just wrestling. It's just wrestling. I know you're hurting, okay? To sit here 10 years later and see him and where he's at, uh, yeah. It's been a decade since Tatum's greatest victory. And for Trey... I made it to state. <laughs> his time has just begun. Pretty cool, the kid 10 years later qualifies and competes at the state tournament. That's a victory for me. Hey, the very best is ahead for Trey. I'm Scotty Gange. We'll see you next week right here on the Nine News Prep Rally.